is just regular old construction brick I got out of dumpsters. I love, I love being outdoors and I love fire and I love food, so, and you do too, right? I do, sure. So this was inspired by, I watched on Netflix, um, The Chef Show, I can't remember what it's called, but her name is Christina <laughs> Martinez, and she has a barbacoa restaurant in South Philly. She is an undocumented Mexican chef, and she cooks goat and a giant, a giant version of this. And I thought, let's make some sausages in a Dutch oven in our own little fire pit. So that's what we're doing. Let's do it. To do this, we need brick, and I'm gonna line the sides of this. I'm gonna leave the bottom dirt, but I wanna make sure that with the brick on the sides, like that and this, um, keeps falling. Okay, here <laughs> and here. I want to make sure there's enough room for this. Yeah. Plenty of room. That'd be good. Regular old brick. Um, you just want to make the bottom a kind of level for the first row. Again, we're not going to the moon here. <laughs> no, you're going the wrong direction. Use all of your fort building skills here. I mean, I think you can get your kids involved with this. It's, it's just, you know, you can learn about fire. You can learn respect for fire, and you can also learn how it, they can learn how it cooks your food. And plus it gets you out of the house. You can be in the yard and make a fire and, I don't know, I keep on saying fire. So as you can tell, I like fire. Do they have to be spaced evenly apart or it doesn't matter? No, it's, this is really, um, the brick is gonna serve as a heat sink that we're gonna put a nice fire in here. Heat, we're gonna womp this up and the embers, First, we're gonna heat up the brick with the fire. The, the fire's gonna kind of break down to coals and embers, and we're gonna slow cook our food. It's a, gonna be a white bean with sausage stew in here. So I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Yeah. If this brick looks familiar, it's the brick from our portable pizza ovens that we make. It's a dry fit pizza oven. You can build it in an hour, and you can be cooking pizzas in two hours. I'll link to that at the end of the show. This is a palette made almost completely of red oak. And red oak burns really nicely in a fire pit. This is packing paper. Don't throw it out. You can use it for fire. You could use it as a painting tarp. I mean, I'm all about kind of using, reusing. Loosely packed, okay? Too tight, it doesn't burn. Learn from me. Don't use lighter fluid, okay? It's, it's just not the garden fork way. Just paper, combustibles, Time. fire. Oh, I love that sound. Oh, this will be great. See, it's already lowering because the paper's burning, so it's lowering. And then we'll add in the hardwood here. I don't know if you watch any of the Garden Fork, but I'm all about, hey, let's try this and see what happens. And this, this was inspired by watching Christina Martinez and her story, and I was like, let's go outside and cook. I'm gonna talk about this more on my podcast, Garden Fork Radio. There'll be a link, or just go to iTunes or podcast or type in Garden Fork Radio. I'll be there, me talking to you, or with you maybe. All right, I got the GoPro on my head, got this camera, Dutch oven. Oh, first, we're gonna remove some of the coals. I've got some oil in the bottom of my pan. And then I got some local sausages. These are sweet Italians. I love white beans. White beans with garlic and a secret ingredient. 
stay till the later. I'll show you that. That's looking good. All right, I forgot my gloves inside, so. Couple more pieces of wood. So I just decided to womp that fire up a bit. Um, I just thought it needed more coals and then we will continue. Life isn't perfect. Neither is Garden Fork. So these are, these are nicely browned, so I'm gonna put those in the lid for now. And then I have some onion cut up. I mean, I like onion, but I like it browned before in a stew, so you could put it in raw and then throw everything in, but I like to brown it. The brine is salted. I, I soaked the beans overnight in salted water, and then I used that brine water to cook them as well. It's totally okay to do that. So we've got a kind of a good salt content already, so I'm not gonna salt my onions or anything. That smells really good. I don't know, there's something about being outside and cooking, so that's why I wanted to make this and try and get you to go outside and cook something. And then maybe you could send me pictures. This is the only kind of garlic they had at the store. Um, things being what they are, so like that much. Brine beans with the brine water. I'm gonna put the sausages back in. Key ingredient, cheese rind. Parmesan cheese rind. That gives like a flavor bomb, I guess they call it, but um, it really does add a lot of flavor, and I mean, what were you gonna do with it? Throw it out otherwise, right? Okay, important thing. Aluminum foil over the top. This'll keep coals from accidentally getting in here. And then, probably it'd be better to have more coals than that on the top, but we're gonna use what we got. This is bathroom tile backer board. If you have a big sheet of metal, you could use that, but I, I have a nice piece of metal, but I'm gonna use it for a welding project, so I don't wanna get it all warpy. So that is a piece of tile backer board from our pizza oven setup. So just use what you got. Something that's not flammable, will hold the heat in. That is kinda expendable. All right, Labrador taste test here. I'm an optimist, I have my ladle. <laughs> I'm a little worried that the fire, there wasn't enough coals. And um, I don't know, we'll just see what happens here, right? Oh, this is warm. Is it? That's good, that's a good sign. So it's basically like an outdoor crock pot. So the goal here is to not get any dirt on top of the Dutch oven, but that's gonna happen anyway, because dirt happens. What do you see? Well, you'll have to see. It looks great. It looks it looks really cool. It has a it has a real smoky smell to it though. It does. So I love that kind of thing. There, there's kind of a I mean I was thinking about this, I was doing other work, and you can't but you can't open the lid and look, you know? You could just, oh, and the bricks are warm too. Yeah, the bricks feel nice. They're not hot, but they're warm. Oh, you could sleep with this. It's like... Excuse me? Okay, so the goal here is to not get these coals in the, um, in the food, so that's why you put the foil here. Oh, does that smell great? It's steaming. <laughs> it worked. You know the one ingredient we could put in here is mustard. You love mustard. I love mustard. Uh, the beans are plumped up. I mean, oh, you can smell the cheese rind. Smell something? Well, yes, I do. <laughs> I've done. Those are done and delicious. 
If you want to watch our other bean pot Dutch oven, all sorts of videos, there should be some floating right on Henry's head here. <laughs> this is delicious. Are you going to eat that whole thing? More information about this, click the down button for the text below the video. I will see you in the next video.